Hi guys, it's Laura all by myself today, which seems really weird, but last week Tom took you on a tour of his Animal Crossing Island and it honestly made me really jealous and I am really proud of my Animal Crossing Island. So what better opportunity than to show it to you guys. I don't know if you guys are sort of the same, but when Animal Crossing came out, we were all in lockdown for like I don't know, nine months or something straight. So I spent almost every single moment of every day working on my Animal Crossing Island. And now I just go there for Christmas time. But, you know, Christmas in July isn't, isn't that a thing? <laughs> So hopefully my villagers remember me and hopefully I haven't left any sections of my island undone because I want it all to be perfect. I'm pretty sure that it is, but I guess we'll see. Oh, I'm excited to see what villagers I have as well because the villagers are like the one thing that I haven't really gotten perfect on my island. There's definitely a few that I think should leave. Oh, I think the date's actually correct. That surprises me. Did you guys like time travel when you were playing Animal Crossing? Because I am so impatient and I just could not wait like 24 hours to get my axe or whatever, you know? Cute. Should we put a special outfit on for the adventure? Oh, my phone's ringing. Hi, Tommy. Oh, I'm waiting for the day that I get a call like that. Okay, how do I play this game again? I'm sure I have... Oh, wait. Oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh! Okay, wait, wait. You didn't see anything. Let me put that piece of path back and then we'll start, okay? One eternity later. Okay, this one's the one. Oh. I just realized that I've made exactly the same mistake that Tom made when he was doing this video and everyone's going to be freaking asleep. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, hang on one second. I have to time travel again. Okay, we're finally back. It's daytime and now we can actually go and talk to all of my villagers and show you what the island looks like in the daytime. So I know that a lot of people have like themes with their island. I'm not really sure if I have a theme per se, but I don't know. It's just like cute cottagey woodsy. I don't know. Just where I would want to live if I was on an Animal Crossing island. All right, so that, that was the outside of my house that you guys saw. Now we're coming down to the orchard. I think I have every type of fruit except for my island fruit. I had peaches on my island and I guess I just thought that they weren't exotic enough because they grew here, so I didn't include them in my orchard. I guess also because it would have made it uneven and I was just like, can't have that. So we've only got the four fruits in my orchard, but it still works out. Down here we've got the museum with a little seating area out front. A little town garden area. Even though honestly I wouldn't let any of my villagers touch my garden, but I don't tell them that. Oh, I guess I was making a little garden of... What are these called? Lily of the Valley. Lily of the Valley. I want to fill up this whole garden with Lily of the Valleys. Fun fact, one time I invited my sister to my island and left her to explore unsupervised. And she was like, oh, yeah, your island was really cool. I took one of these really cool flowers and brought it back to my island. And I was like, oh, really? What was it like? And she'd taken one of my Lily of the Valleys. But that was okay because, you know, she deserves it. This is my able sisters out the front. We've got a little bike park so that you can ride your little bikes over here have a wee park up here we have one of my least favorite villagers who i would not mind if they moved out oh wait sasha oh they oh they must have moved out yay i used to have that um that ape guy the sporty ape guy and I don't know, they're kind of cool, but it kind of unsettles me how their, like, butts are just poking out. They don't even have pants, they've just got butts poking out. 
This is Pearl. I like Pearl. Did anyone else start randomly giving their villagers gifts of clothing, not realizing that they would wear that clothing, whether it was ugly or not? Because now all of my villagers had these really ugly outfits that I hate seeing, but I don't know how to change them. Is there a way to change that? Roscoe. He is cool. These are another one of my um, prized features on my island that I spent ages designing. A lot of the things on the ground I like drew myself. A lot of the paths and these little street lamp stone thingies, <laughs> I drew them all with my hours of free time that I had because I was in lockdown. Here is my ancient deer fossil that I spent ages collecting all of the parts for. I think there's only two, but it felt like a long time to me, honestly, when there's so many fossils. It's hard to find the two that you need, but I really like him. I think he's cute. Here is my town cafe with a headless barista and some little log stools. Oh, cute. I really like Animal Crossing in the winter. I think it looks awesome. I prefer it in the autumn. That's my favorite season in Animal Crossing and in real life, but it is really pretty in the winter. This is one of my favorite villages. Let's see if she's home. I hope so. No, she's not at home, but that's okay. She will be elsewhere. This is my little town library. It's so adorable. I try to make a lot of recreational areas for my villages because sometimes your Animal Crossing Island can be really empty and I wanted it to be full of things to do. Full of things to do and see. This is my campground. Mushroom, I mean marshmallow roasting area and a little writing area for anybody who's feeling a little bit creative just needs to get some things off their chest they can just tranquilly write poetry by this love heart pond in front of a waterfall i wish that my animal crossing was an actual real place because <laughs> that sounds really nice <laughs> Okay, this ne what is coming up next is probably, oh, it kind of is and it kind of isn't my favorite thing on my island. I guess I'll explain that later, but it took like maybe three weeks straight to get this thing right. If anybody has ever made one, you know, you know the struggles. It is my rock garden. Oh, isn't it absolutely perfect? Look at all those rocks neatly lined up. So I had to put mannequins on basically every square inch of my island to force them to spawn in these areas. And it took so long. And then after I did it, I was like, oh, I wish I made a circle one. Oh, but I just could not spend all of that time making another rock garden. But a stone circle it just would have been so perfect. So I kind of am tempted to start again, but it takes so long and everything is covered in mannequins and it's just like, it's really not, it's really not a good time. I didn't really do it that systematically and plan it out. I kind of just like bonked them everywhere and then every day I would find another rock in another random spot and be like, oh put another mannequin there. So I guess that it's probably my fault that it took me so long, but I don't know if I want to go through that pain again. You know what I mean? Ooh, DIY. This is one of my first villages that I had, this like burger sheep girl called Frida. She's pretty cute. I mean, she is, but she isn't. I kind of like the fact that she's a burger though. So I keep her around for as long as she wants to stay. This is my fishing spot, a little circle of leaves. And then you fish in this little moon pond which was incredibly infuriating to build. But we got there in the end. This is the town market where you can buy a couple of things. I've got some stepping stones over this little river here. This is like my favorite Animal Crossing style. I really like the terrestrializing. No, that's Pokemon. Terraforming. <laughs> and making lots of little rivers with little stepping stones in them. They're my, they're my favorite. Oh, oh God, what? Since when has that been a thing? Oh no, what a waste. Oh God, how many turnips are here? How do I pick them up? 
Do I even want to know how many turnips are here? Oh, just like a couple. Okay, I thought maybe they would be like piles, but no. So hopefully we didn't lose too much cash money. I've never really been good at, what do they call it? The stork trade? <laughs> So yeah, this is the farm minus the spoiled turnips. We just ignore those. Oh, this is my little secret beach. I was amazed when I found out that everybody had a little secret beach. So I made my entrance with waterfalls. You can never go wrong with waterfalls. We make our way over to the bridge and to the upper west portion of the island to my flower farm. It never really worked out for me. This is where I was trying to like spawn rare flowers, but I don't know if I actually ever have. I probably don't water them enough. Is there something I'm missing? I thought that that was like how, how you do the thing. But I guess I didn't do it right because all of my flowers are just normal. Still cute, but I want the rare ones, like the black roses and stuff. I want dams. Okay, let's head back to civilization, shall we? Let's meet some of my villagers that I haven't seen in a really long time. Roscoe smelling Frida's flowers. Classic. Oh, this is Roscoe's house atop this little island. How adorable. I like how his house totally matches him as well. Hopefully this guy's home. Oh, Anchovy, he's another one of my favorite villagers. Let's go find him. We must find Anchovy. I think I actually saw him over here. Anchovy, where are you? Roscoe is just everywhere all at once. <gasps> here he is, here he is. Hi. Oh, Andrew, we thought he died for the last few months. That's really sad. I really made him question everything by not <laughs> turning up. <gasps> oh. I'm sorry, Anchovy. I'm back to eat snacks with you. I like his bowl cup. Oh, he's so cute. Roscoe, back at it again, following me around. Hopefully we don't have to get a restraining order against Roscoe because he is just all over it. Okay, so I think there are a couple of villages that we haven't visited yet. So let's go see them. Let's go see them. I know a shortcut. <laughs> I just had a thought that maybe Bo would be over here. No, he's not. Okay, back to the shortcut. It's definitely not a shortcut anymore. There are these three houses that I totally ignored. <laughs> Who's in here? I've forgotten where everybody lives, so... Oh, uh, no. 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 <laughs> Just pretend like you didn't see that. Oh, I hate that villager. You know when you kick somebody out of your island and then you only have like 24 hours to find somebody else to move in there? And I didn't know that and I kicked somebody out and I didn't log on for like two days afterwards and then somebody randomly moved in and it was that hideous frog. I don't like to judge people based on their appearance but I hate that frog and actually I'm not judging the frog based on their appearance because they used to live on Tom's island and Tom didn't like the frog either probably because she's got a bad personality or well, maybe he judged her on her appearance. But that's, then that's out of my hands. That's out of my hands. Oh, here she is. Look how cute. Meringue. I love meringue. I spent so many Nook tickets trying to find meringue on a mysterious island. And I finally found her. I was so excited. Do I have any gifts to give her? Because, oh, the physical pain that that causes me. Oh, my God. There is one more part of my island that I haven't shown you guys yet. I don't know if it's completed. It was like the one part of my island that I was ignoring. But I actually think it's done now. Oops. Oh wait, but first, could I interest you in a bath on a rock? I would take a bath there for sure. 
Okay, so what do we have here? Oh, it's get starting off strong. We've got a little picnic area with I don't, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I really like these butterfly books that are everywhere on my island. Oh, I decided to put a house here. That's a good idea. Who lives here? Nope. Who lives here? Oh, that's Meringue's house. Oh, yeah, she's got the perfect little adorable place. Okay, so this is what I did 10 months ago. I can tell. Not bad. I actually really like this area. It's usually looking pretty ugly oh who's this oh this must be who moved in instead of the ape guy sasha see she's not even like you haven't been here for 10 months because she doesn't know me oh diva that must be that frog who shall not be named we don't talk about her sasha she's new here though so i'll let her away with it this time I was actually really hoping that when I logged in today, I would walk around and that frog would be walking around with a little thought bubble over their head and just be like, oh, I just decided that I might move out and I would have been so excited. But no. Uh, well, I think that that's pretty much everything, but there is one villager that we haven't seen yet. So let's go hunt him down. He's my favorite one as well. Oh, Roscoe, again, he really is following me. There he is. Oh, he's so cute. They all have lollipops. Butterbean, he calls me Butterbean. I actually really like Butterbeans. <laughs> 10 months, that is almost a whole year. I'm sorry, Bo. I'm pretty sure that's it, honestly. I think that we've looked at every single nook and cranny on my Animal Crossing island and met all of my villagers again for the first time in 10 months, I guess. It was really nice. Every now and then I always get Animal Crossing fever, but I feel like if you're not redoing your island or anything like that, then there's kind of not much to do. I mean, there were a lot of fossils that I could have dug up, but I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to knock my island down and start again, but then I'm really worried that I will <laughs> ruin my entire island and be stuck with like, I don't know, three trees in a bush or something that would be really sad. So I'm probably going to refrain from doing that. Kind of tempted to get like a spare switch so that I can start Animal Crossing again. Is that excessive? I feel like it's probably excessive. I should probably refrain. Well, I hope that you guys liked my Animal Crossing Island and enjoyed visiting again as much as I did. And I hope that you didn't miss Tom too much. I did. I did think that Miso was going to keep us company throughout this video as well. But apparently his dinner was more important. So make sure that you like and subscribe if you liked this video. And if you like Animal Crossing videos in general, because we've never done videos like this before on our channel at all. And now we've got two in a row. So let us know if you like them and maybe we'll do some more Animal Crossing videos because... As I said before, I'm obsessed. <laughs> anyway, we will see you next week and I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your day or night, whatever it is. And see you later. Bye.